everyone, welcome back with Deco Easy. My name is Yanni. I'm doing this home decor channel together with Diane. I hope you are ready for our daily home decor inspiration. For this DIY, we are going to use an old uh, storage box, or at least it's called a storage box, but it's just an old MDF um, box. I bought it already, already uh, so long ago, I think maybe a couple of years ago. So I uh, had it always in my uh, decor, but I don't like it uh, this way anymore, so I'm going to reuse it and redo it. Um, I ordered online this um, little picture frames from AliExpress. They are so easy. Normally I have a little bit smaller um, sides around it, but this time this lo even looks more like a little picture frame. So uh, this was always very uh, cheap. I think they were six for, I think, five euros, four euros, at least very cheap. And they are really uh, high quality made. So I am really happy with them. So I'm going to use one of them and I'm going to use our old storage box. So you probably, when you have uh, looking in your stash, you probably have also one of this one laying around. So it is very easy just to make a one for your own. So first what we're going to do is going to paint our box and I'm going to paint this one in the white chalk paint. But I first wanted to show you also the difference between the little picture frames. You see if you uh, see this picture frame, this was the smaller size. I also uh, also ordered this one uh, online on AliExpress. I have so many of them and they are also very high quality to um, when you get them and of course this one is a little bit of the wider uh, side thicker side just how you call it and i really this gives a little bit more like a picture frame but of course they are both uh, sizes are very cheap so if you need some little boxes for in your tea tray just go uh, look on aliexpress and you will find there lots of beautiful uh, little uh, frames to use to make your little signs and if you want to have pictures for the signs, you always can find them on our free printables. And you see already, I started with my white chalk paint, but of course you can use any color you like. If you like uh, uh, pink, if you like green, if you like black uh, better, just do whatever you think is right and fitting for your decor. I will finish this off and then we're going to make the picture frame I will do probably in the black schoolboard paint. And you see already, I am using the black chalk uh, chalk paint or schoolboard paint just what you want to use and i'm going to uh, paint this one black and of course i will do also the inside it's a little bit easier to do than try to work the little corners so i will do the whole picture frame in the black color i'm from fast and easy so i will do everything in the uh, black uh, color so but of course do whatever you like i uh, show you in a moment the next step you see already our little um um crate is already uh, dried up and of course also our picture frame is ready to get his print what i'm going to do right now first i'm going to do the handles and the handles i'm going to do with a little piece of uh, twine i have laying around of course i always have the the cheap twine of course you can buy them at dollar tree dollar rama you can buy them i think everywhere so just to use the twine you like i'm going to do a little piece of glue inside of my great and of course i always have lime lime <laughs> lime wise at least or lime threads just how you call it what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to go a couple of turns around it just to make a nice little piece from this to this place so i will do it with both of them but i think you already know how to turn around a couple of times your twine so you see, I did one side already with the twine and I think it gives a little bit more of a high-end look, but that's me, <laughs> but you don't have to do it. I will do the other side also and then we are going to uh, go to my computer and then we're going to make a print for the sides. So you see already, I did on two sides, I did the twine. What I'm going to do right now, we're going to mount the computer and we are going to make a uh, four going to distress it. We are going to make a little print for on top of here. And of course, we make a, going to make a little print for our little sign. But first, for the little box. And here you see already the print we just made. And you saw already how easy it is just to make your own unique print. 
Of course, you can find them also in our free printables if you want to make a one of your own. Of course, I'm going to cut it out. I made two different sizes, a bigger one and a smaller one. And then I will see which one I will use for the top. So I will cut it out. So you see already I have uh, cut out both of them and I'm going to do one on this side and one on this side. So it is very easy. Just mud patch your side and of course then glue of glue put your a little picture on top of it and i'm only doing the sides because i would love a little bit of the matte finish so i don't do my mud parts two times if you like a little bit more of a shiny look of course you can do uh, two times the mud parts but i always most of the time i do a one time but you're free to do what you like i am not really a great person in mop patching because most of the time i get some wrinkles and i tried already so many tips but i always say it is most <laughs> one day it will go okay the other way <laughs> time it goes not the greatest so we keep it we always trying to do our best and more we can do so this is already one of them. I will do the other side also and then I let it dry for a moment. And you see already I have uh, one side done and I am really loving how the print is turned out. And of course, sorry if you see it uh, backwards, you will see it in a moment when the result is you see it the, the right way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the other side also and then I'll take you along to my computer and we are going to make the little print for our sign. So you see already our picture frame is ready also. So uh, now we are going to make our print for this little sign. And here you see already our print for this little cute sign and um, we did it in uh, the white a little bit farmhouse uh, touch with a little bit of the white and of course i did it with the a little bit of the brown so a little uh, wood color a little bit more this also wood but a little bit of the white the stress uh, wood so i will do both of them in our free printable so you can find them both so you free, always find our free printables in our description box. So if you are looking for them, they are always in our description box. So I will um, cut out and I'm going to use the probably the brown one. So you see I did cut out both of them and you see already also the brown one is looking very nice. But I changed my mind. I am going for the white one because I think it's fitting a little bit more when we make our display inside of the little box so i will do the white one so i will mod podge this inside and then we're going to decorate our little box so you see already i have a couple of things already for uh, decorating our little crate but you see already he is very plain we need to distress it a little bit i'm going to use again my uh, permanent marker but you can do it like i always say with some paint I will do most of the side, sides, of course, a little bit, just go over it to let it um, give you a feeling that it's already uh, very old. So I'm going to go all over all the sides and then I show you how that is looking like. So you see already, this is the black color and now I'm going to use the brown and I'm going to do the brown a little bit over, like I always say, over the black color. At least if I get my, <laughs> my lid up. So I'm going to do little pieces with the brown, just go over a little bit of the black. So little pieces in between. I will do uh, the rest and then I show you how my crate finally turns out. So you see already, this is a little bit how I distress my little box. But of course, you can do it any way you like. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to glue some a little bit of glue inside. And then I'm going to uh, place some uh, styrofoam or oasis inside of uh, my box. So it will stick in the right place. And I'm going to cut out, open the, bow, the 
top. I would always say the bovenkant in Dutch, but <laughs> so in Dutch the top means the bovenkant. <laughs> so you learn also a little bit of Dutch. So I will glue this and then we're going to make our display. So you see already, this is how it is looking like inside. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take some uh, pieces of my uh, eucalyptus and I'm going to place on each side of the corners, I place a little a branch. And of course, I'm going to try to squeeze it in as, as much as I can. So I'll so do it this way in the corner, a little bit this way. Just do it a little bit sideways, and of course this one, and squeeze it in. So you have four on each uh, corners already. I have two leftovers, so I'm going to do one in the middle over here. I'm going to do one over here, so you have now six of them. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I have a lot of this greenery. Uh, it's a little bit with the white and uh, lighter greenery. So I am really squeezing it a little bit. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> I'm squeezing it a little uh, on top. I mean this way. And I'm going to do, do one in this corner. Of course, I use this one later. I'm going to do one in this corner. I'm going to do a one over here in this corner and of course try to squeeze it as far as you can because I always love a little bit that's a little bit lower than such a high uh, centerpiece and of course we're going to do this one now we are going to take this one and we are going to of course try to get it also in the middle but a little bit sideways against this eucalyptus and now we're going to do this one a little bit sideways but a little bit towards this eucalyptus place now you have also six over here so one here one here one here one and then one so now we are going to get our uh, lavender and I have the lavender in white, yellow and, and, and any color so I'm going to place a little bit in the middle and a little bit not in the middle but a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left so you have two pieces over here now again I have enough of the white and I'm going to place also two over here now I have the yellow lavender and I'm going to do one a little bit sideways this way, one a little bit sideways this way, and a little bit sideways this way, and of course a little bit this way. So you see already we get already a nice full display, and you, this is how the, <laughs> the sides is looking like. Uh, what I'm going to do, I also have two of the little, uh, a little bit, yeah, the point point uh, greenery at least at least the point in the direction i'm going to do this one over here and this one over here so what we're going to do because i make mine a little bit uh, towards one side because i have them in a corner uh, now i'm going to take some of my um, lemon and i did some little pick of my lemon in uh, on the underside of our lemon so I'm going to place them inside, of course, on each corner, one, and also over here, and one over here. And they can be a little bit lower because that's, uh, you don't have to see them. And if you want to have more, you see already I have lots of more. Now I have some little pieces of my this greenery and now I'm going to try to fill up a little bit of the spaces they are still open and I see a couple of the spaces so I am always looking for a little greenery you can fit inside of here and I'm going to pull off this greenery and this one also so to fill up the gaps because you don't want to see the oasis anymore 
So, just place it in here. And we leave a little space open for our little sign, of course. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take now my piece of ribbon. I'm going to cut out uh, at least, a, a, I think, a, yeah, how you can, mm, 20 centimeters, I think, a little bit. I'm just going to cut it off. I'm going to make a fist tail. You see already, I have my fist tail. What I'm going to do, I'm going to push it a little bit sideways. This way, maybe I think I can cut it uh, better open. That's most of the time a little bit better to get it sideways. Just squeeze a little bit and just make a nice end. What I'm going to do, take an elastic band. This is so easy if you want to just little uh, pieces of your ribbon inside of it. You can use, of course, I use this ribbon, but you can use any ribbon you like. I will make again another one. And I will, again, we'll cut it open. I will make a fist tail. Just a simple fist tail. Just, and just cut it. Pull it again sideways. And just squeeze it. This is a, a, a ribbon with wire. So this is a little bit easier than you have it without wire. So just again do a piece of elastic, elastic band on top of it. And it never will go anywhere in your display. So again, get your display. And just move it in one piece on the sides. And just it inside of here this is one and now we are going to do the other one of course on the other side and we're going to place it inside of here and you see already now you have again two pieces of the ribbon and now we only need our sign so you see this is our so simple and easy made display and of course here we have our little sign and we are going to just place it in the middle and it doesn't matter how, you're just going to place it in and it will stay stick in place. So I will show you now the finished result. And here you see the end result of our woolen reuse crate. And I am so happy how it turned out. And especially the distressing, I think it looks a little <laughs> like old, but I don't know. I let you decide. For now, I am so happy you were here and doing this DIY together with me. So I hope you enjoyed and got a little bit inspiration from this DIY. We hope to see you in our next DIY. So this was it already for today's daily DIY. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this content, we hope of course you will consider subscribing to the my channel. And for now, we wish you all a beautiful, beautiful day.